Uh, right now, I would like to, uh, with that being said, I would like to introduce our county legislator, Denise Ford. Denise. Thank you, Supervisor Murray, and I am very happy to be here and to join her in support of asking for additional resources to help us so that we can build, rebuild our beaches and to protect them as well. These communities are very, very precious to us, and we want to make every effort that we can to make sure that we protect them, for, especially from future storms. I applaud both Supervisor Murray and Councilwoman Cullen for the work that they have done in the past on behalf of the residents, by the work, by the dunes that they built, the seagrass, and actually for doing the dredging that you're able to do. Uh, it means a lot to all of us to see how fast that they can restore some of the sand here on the beach uh, to work to protect uh, the people that live along this shore. Um, we know that we need to have a, 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 a better approach into protecting our beaches and protecting us from future storms. And I know that this past week, the city of Long Beach did pass a resolution um, allowing the city uh, manager and the city council to enter into discussion with the Army Corps, inviting them down to take a look at the beaches in, uh, along in the city of Long Beach. So I urge the Army Corps to come down here uh, to work with the town of Hempstead as well, to work with all of us. Time is of the essence as we are working still to recover and to rebuild from the effects of uh, Hurricane Sandy. We need to make sure that we lose no more time. Let's come in. Let's start the discussion. Let's start the work. Let's start making it so that we can protect ourselves from storms such as we had uh, with Hurricane Sandy. Once again, I, my heartfelt thanks goes out to the town of Hempstead for the wonderful work that they continue to do on behalf of the residents and to both Schumer and Peter King and to Senator Skelos and Harvey Wiesenberg. We show that by working together, we can do a lot. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, County Legislator Ford. And uh, as she had, had mentioned, the City Council of Long Beach uh, did pass a resolution to uh, continue talks, to begin talks with uh, with the Army Corps of Engineers, and uh, we certainly take that as a, a very positive uh, sign and a step towards and in, in the right direction, and we, we encourage the City Council to continue uh, those talks. I would also like to uh, invite Liz Murdy, the President of the Lido Beach uh, Civic Association, uh, up to say a few words. Thank you, Supervisor Murray. I'd like to echo Denise Ford's statements when she said time is of the essence. Time is now. And not only do we have the elected officials behind it, but I think we have all of the residents who saw the wrath of Superstorm Stan Sandy and what it did to our beautiful beach and what it can do in the future if we do not build up our shorelines and get the protection we need so we can be safe in future storms. Hopefully that will never exceed the damage that we saw just last month. Thank you. Liz Murdy, M-U-R-D-Y, President of the Lido Beach Civic Association. Thank you, Liz, and thank you for all your help and the Civic's help uh, in the aftermath of uh, Sandy. Uh, they were great, and they were all hands on deck as well. Thank you so much, Liz. Uh, now, uh, speaking on behalf of the Point Lip, uh, Lookout Civic Association will be Jerry Adovino, who is president of the Environmental Com uh, uh, Committee within that Civic Association. Jerry? Good afternoon. I think all you have to do is read uh, the letter that I wrote to the Long Beach Herald to see where I stand on the project. I've been efforting this project now for eight, nine years. Um, similar to when you purchase real estate, it's location, location, location. Or when you're going to protect that real estate, it's mitigation, mitigation, mitigation. And that's what this project is meant to do. And I find it very encouraging that we're going through and requesting that the Army Corps advance its plans and specs. And in doing so, uh, I am encouraged and I'm almost positive that Long Beach will sign on to the project to make it a uh, total project for the entire Barrier Island. It is most important for all of us not to think community by community, but to think in terms of the whole Barrier Island. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Jerry Adovino, uh, co-chair of the Environmental Committee, Point Lookout Civic. My last name is O-T-T-A. V is in Victor, I-N-O. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jerry. Well, the damage from Sandy has been brutal and the recovery process will be long and arduous. Uh, we need a Long Beach Island project now to reduce the risks of the type of this disaster in the future. Uh, the town of Hempstead, the, the county of Nassau, uh, we have been on board uh, since 1996 or 7 when this original Long Beach Island plan was uh, hatched by the Army Corps of Engineers. We have stood ready, willing, and able to uh, execute this plan. We certainly hope that the city of Long Beach will come along. This will really, as Jerry Adovino had said, uh, this will uh, provide a global uh, resolution, a gl global protection for all of these beautiful communities here. We need it, and we didn't need it now. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah, Kate. Uh, yes, sir. Two questions. The first yes. is, uh, 